You think skydiving is scary? Try skydiving with a meteorite, some next level stuff. Hey guys, Tara here for DNews today to talk about all of the things that can kill you over the course of a lifetime, specifically falling meteorites. There's a video going around on the web recently captured by a Norwegian skydiver who narrowly missed a falling meteorite on his way back down to Earth. According to geologists, the meteorite in the video was part of a larger mass originating from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter that had exploded at roughly 20 kilometers higher. The reason it's not glowing, like most of the meteorites you see in those Russian dash cam videos, is because this one was in a stage called dark flight. Dark flight happens after a meteorite has passed through the Earth's atmosphere, causing it to slow down and cooling it to the point where it's no longer glowing. So those glowing rocks you see in those YouTube videos are really just meteorites that haven't entered dark flight yet. Once the brightness is gone, they are of course much harder to detect, which explains why this video of the skydiver is also the first ever recorded footage of a meteorite in dark flight. So not only did the skydiver make history by capturing this on film, he's also probably the luckiest guy on earth right now. Geologists say if he had jumped even a second later, the meteorite would have almost certainly killed him. Which got me thinking, what are the chances of being hit by a meteorite? And are they high enough to justify me never leaving the house again? Let's look at a few statistics. Researchers at Tulane University estimate the odds of being killed by a falling meteorite or comet in the US to be roughly one in 250,000. However, according to the National History Museum in London, there are no recorded human deaths by a meteorite fall ever. A few people have apparently been struck here and there, but the actual death toll is zero. By comparison, the odds of being struck by lightning over the course of your life in the US is around one in 3,000, which is much higher than I was expecting, and now I have a fear of lightning, so thank you for that internet. Finally, and most importantly, the McDonald's Monopoly game carries a one in 602 million odds of winning the $1 million grand prize. And while those odds are technically less than the calculated odds of getting struck by a meteorite, more people have still won a million dollars from McDonald's than have ever been killed by a falling meteorite. So as far as meteorites go, you're probably okay. Lightning on the other hand, apparently no one is safe from that. But enough depressing stuff. If you suddenly find yourself in need of some inspiration, why not check out Shots of Awe with Jason Silva, where he explores things like technology, space, human nature, love, and a whole bevy of other things that could, but probably won't kill you. That desire to probe the perimeters of possibility, to see the world in a grain of sand, that is what it means to be human. As always, if you have thoughts about today's episode or any crippling fears you'd like to share with the class, leave them in the comments below or hit us up on Twitter at DNews. Just no more pictures or talk about lightning, please guys. I'm so over nature right now. <laughs>